So today I'm gonna to show you guys how you can blur somebody's face or a license plate or any particular object in Adobe Premiere and also motion track it. Now, I know if you're a seasoned Adobe Premiere user, you might look at this and say, Armando, that's very easy to do and I understand, but there's still a lot of people that don't know how to use Premiere and I figured this would be a great tutorial because it's very easy to do and also I find it kind of fun. So anyway, let's go ahead and jump right into Adobe Premiere. So the first thing that you wanna do is drop your footage onto the timeline Timeline, obviously assuming the footage that you want to blur out and then what you want to do is do a search on the effects panel for Gaussian blur once you find it drop that onto the footage now there's three ways you can blur whatever it is that you're gonna do a face a license plate or a particular object there's using the circle which is a circular elliptical tool that you can just click on it and I'll show you guys in a second because that's the tool that we're gonna be using and it basically draws a perfect circle onto the frame. The next one is a square. So square is really great for something like a license plate or obviously a square object and you can manipulate it however you want. And then last is the actual lasso tool or the pen tool which basically allows you to free transform and basically create your own shape. So whichever one you decide really depends on what you're trying to blur out. So in this case, I'm going to be blurring out this woman's face. So for me, the best tool is going to be the circular tool. So as soon as I click on that, it'll create a perfect circle onto my frame. So next thing I want to do is just drag that over to the person's face in this case. And you want to leave a little bit of room. You don't want to have it right on the edge. You want to have it a little bit outside of the edges just in case, you know, because there are there is going to be movement and stuff like that. So after you kind of position it where you want, the next thing you want to do is set how much blurriness you have. Typically for me, I like to start at 100, and then depending on where it goes, I usually go a little bit higher, but I won't go anything below 100. So in this case, I'll go ahead and set it to 100. And then from there, the next thing we want to do is feather it out. So I don't like to go above 100. Again, it just really depends on the scene. Basically what feather means is how the pixelation on the edges is going to appear. So if it's going to feather out and create this really smooth gradient. So again, I don't, I usually like to keep it at around 100. That tends to work the best for me. Now, once you do that, the final step is basically motion tracking it. Now there's two ways to do it. There's frame by frame. So if you click on motion track to one frame forward, it'll just basically go one frame. And then what Adobe does, it analyzes the area that you selected and then it'll automatically move that frame depending on the pixels. And it does a very good job at that. Now, the other way of doing it is tracking the whole entire sequence and it does that automatically. So if you click on track the whole entire sequence, it'll start doing it. Now, depending on the footage, like if you're using 4K footage, it could take a couple of seconds or a couple of minutes, but you do wanna pay attention because sometimes it might go a little bit out of whack. When it does that, what you wanna do is stop go back a couple of frames, and then what you need to do is readjust the mask. Because Adobe, although it's pretty smart, it's not perfect. So what you wanna do is just make those adjustments, and then once you figure it out that everything is good, because a lot of times, maybe it's tracking the movement this way, and then the person turns, and then those pixels kinda of go out of whack. So once you get everything set up, continue tracking forward, then after a couple of minutes or a couple seconds, depending on your footage, you should have a perfect mask that is motion track, looks clean, very smooth, and is very easy to do. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Also follow me on Instagram at MondoBytes if you guys wanna see behind the scenes. Thanks again for watching and you will catch me in the next one. Adios.